22 every day. That's how many U.S. veterans die by suicide. The latest data from the Veterans Affairs shows in 2017 there were over 6,000 veteran suicide deaths, about 100 more than the year before. Jeremy Miller almost added himself to those stats in 2019, but the Nampa man decided he wanted to be more than just a number and make a difference in the hundreds of thousands of fellow soldiers' lives suffering from PTSD. And he did so by taking his cause across the country, literally. It's an incredible story of heart, health, and hope, and bravery in tonight's Idaho Life. Here's photojournalist Kevin Esslinger. Yeah, it's the, the battle back home nobody thinks about. And uh, it's the most painful battle too because it's, I mean, you lose a lot of self-worth and like PTSD just drains you. I mean, half of the time you're afraid to go to sleep because you're afraid of the nightmares, the flashbacks. Being in the army for eight years with one tour to Iraq in 2011, you see a lot of people that have gone through rough times. I mean, just the ups and downs from the PTSD, depression, anxiety. And I was also one of those guys. When we got back from Iraq in 2011, uh, we lost four guys within three years. And I had tried to take my own life several times. The most recent time being in April of 2019, I was gonna go drive off cliff out at Swan Falls and um, decided not to last second. My son basically popped into my head and I was like, I gotta do something different. You know what, I need to do something, one, to save my life so I can be here for my son, and two, to help others and hopefully show them that there's a, uh, there's a different path in life than trying to take your own life. Name is Jeremy Miller and I started Walk Across America Incorporated. Two weeks after I came up with the idea, I left Boise May 21st, got on a bus, went out to Crescent City, California and started walking May 22nd. And I had basically no planning, no nothing. Um, I got there and I pulled up my map and was like, all right, I need to start heading this way. And when I pulled up my phone to pull up the map, I actually pulled up Facebook. First thing that popped up was a quote from Gandhi that said, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. And that's when I really knew that this is what I needed to do. It's kind of windy. <laughs> the stuff that I noticed as I was walking across the United States the most was how amazing people are. It is completely restored my faith in humanity. Me being able to actually walk and meet people, whether they stop on the side of the road to see what I'm doing or, um, you know, I'm at a truck stop. I got to talk to so many people and realize that there's so much good in this world still that people just don't take the time to, to see anymore. It's been a really good day and a lot of phenomenal people here with me. The country is a big place and what better way to see it than to literally walk through it. A guy that I met in uh, Missouri, he was a Marine veteran. And he's like, well, why don't you come over to my house and we will, um, I'll tell you my whole story. So, he, so I did and he said if he hadn't met me, it would have been about three days later, he was planning to take his own life. And um, so we still talk to this day and every day. I mean, he's like, I love you, brother. You saved my life. And hearing that guy tell me that I saved his life by just walking and sharing my story, that, uh, that made everything worth it. This journey was about 3,600 miles. It took me a little under seven months to do it. I started uh, May 22nd, ended December 14th. I went through about five pairs of shoes, um, then one pair of boots right at the end. And Hey everybody, how's it going? I uh, finally made it. I wanted to stop at Arlington That's National nice. Cemetery because it's the most hollow grounds in the United States. It's uh, where a lot of brothers and sisters are buried. I am uh, extremely grateful. Very emotional day, but a very proud day as well. And to be able to have my son there Everybody, this is Jansen. Jansen, say hi. Hi. I carried him on my shoulders across the finish line and got to finish with him. And uh, that was probably the, the best part about my whole journey was having, having him finish such a long and meaningful journey for me. The biggest thing I hope people take away from my journey is that there's hope out there for everybody. It has given me purpose and I think Really, it's saved my life. 
photojournalist wow. Kevin Esslinger put that story together. Jeremy documented his entire journey on his Facebook page. We have a link set up to that in the story at KTVB.com. And as Jeremy just said, PTSD is no joke. And it's almost impossible to deal with alone. We've seen that in so mm -hmm. many circumstances here in Idaho. If you or someone you know is suffering and considering hurting themselves, please know there is help out there. And it can start right here with the number to Idaho's suicide prevention hotline. It's now just four numbers. Mm -hmm. 211, then the number three. 2113. You can also text or call 398 4357.